Yes. Hi, everybody. I took at last that PT that you saw in my video with this insulator hunting. So, yes, it wasn't that heavy, but in that video, my hands were frozen, so I didn't, so I couldn't actually get a good grip of it. So, it actually don't weigh so much, maybe 20 kilos or something, a little bit more. And yes, this one is a 10,200. Yes, 10,200. But we will not do 10,200. We want 240 to 24,000 volts. And yes, this thing gives out Serious arcs. We are high power arcs out of that. So yes, let's have to do some arcs with it. Then I have it hooked up to a ballast and to a variac. And is it the coil is nearly uh, is a little bit more than 14 centimeters and the coil to the core insulation is a uh, nearly three centimeters actually that part measure it that way as well so it's nearly two and a half centimeters hey, here's my chicken stick and it was too smart so it see if it works. So what can we do first? 40 volts. So it'll be like two micro oven transformers. Yes, that one was, is on 40 volts. Is there one amp, suppose? Yes, full range on the meter. That's actually for the mains. So let's take it up to 100 volts. So now we will be getting 10,000 volts out of that. And it actually works quite good. It was in a scrap bin. So yes, that is was on 100 volts and 10,000 volts out. So let's take it up to 200 volts. Oh, nice hammer out of it. Pulls four amps from the mains. The voltage is not even 200 volts because it has its own ballast. But we get arcs. This. It actually arcs into the into the table. Best to have it on that little insulator on there. So now full range. See if we can blow the fuse. It's pulled six times from the mains, ballasted.
Yes, there it goes. It's on my circuit breaker. Let's turn on the variac. Turn off the variac. Turn on the light in the the, the switch key, uh, switchboard. And yes, there got the fault. Circuit breaker blow. Yeah, so that's what some marks from that potential transformer. And this one is uh, certified for uh, 40 kV, 30 to 40 kV. Insulation tested. So the voltage between these two can be 40 kV. So the insulation inside it on the wires can actually handle that. That was why I just put a full range on that variac. I don't want to blow this one. It's a very good potential transformer. So that was just less than 220 kV on the output because of that little ballast, variac ballast. So how many volts was that? I'm going to turn on the variac again. That's full range. Yes, not even 200 volts. I'm going to try to do an arc. The voltage drops. Yes, it's very long works. So yes, thanks for watching.